All right, hello everybody. Travis Chandler, Chandler Gaming, back with the next episode of the Soldier series of Mass Effect. Before we get in the video, be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and turn on those notifications so you can be notified of all future videos I post. That being said, let's get down to it. So we just got done in Novaria, I remember that. So now... We need to go around talking to everyone. Alright. Down here we go. I'm gonna check the um, stuff because we need Liara and we need Tally. So I'm gonna check their equipment. I know Tally doesn't need armor anymore, but I'm gonna check Liara to make sure she doesn't need armor or anything either. She shouldn't, but you never know. Breaker? Hell yeah, we'll put that on. A tad more... Okay. Pistol, we'll put that on. You get more damage protection and shields? Okay. That scorpion's even better. Okay. Eris, he's got a armor he can use. There you go. Okay. There we go. And then... Ooh, those high explosives, we want to keep those. Eat two of these. There we go. Mods. I just like setting everything up as junk. That way then I can just sell it all at once. It was a nice little feature they added to this game. It really is. Okay. Those, we'll keep one of those. And that's it. Okay, then we can just turn everything over to junk and we're good. All right. Looking for supplies? Yes, we are. Let's see what you've got. You bet, Commander. Okay. Sell all junk. Go back to buy. There 
And we got nothing here. Okay. Commander, I wanted to thank you. What for, Garrus? For everything. Taking me with you, letting me be part of your team. I've learned a lot. I've thought a lot about what you've told me. About not sacrificing innocence to achieve the goal. About finding the best way through, not just the fastest. And I've been thinking about Dr. Salion, too. I'd convinced myself that he deserved to die, but then I started thinking about why I wanted him dead. I realized it wasn't because of what he did to those people. That was part of it, but I think most of it was because he got away from me. He escaped under my watch, and I didn't like that. I let it become personal. I'm glad you see it that way. Keep that in mind when we meet Saren. Don't worry, Commander. I will. Okay. Hey, Skipper. Any interest in a small drink? It's a special occasion. I'm on duty. Have anything without alcohol? You're always on duty, Shepard. It's Armistice Day, when the first contact war ended. My family always marks it. Since I'm the only Williams aboard, I thought I'd ask you. Seems like an odd thing to celebrate. That was 26 years ago. In our family, it's not really a celebration, more like an obligation. Don't tell me you don't know about my family. My commanders always find out. It's not in my files or something? There's almost nothing in your files. Technical scores and a list of crap assignments. There's a reason for the crap assignments. I'm General William's granddaughter, the commander of the Shanxi garrison in the war. The only human ever to surrender to an alien race. I see. That's why you drive yourself so hard. A Williams has to be better than the best, if only to avoid suspicion. That's what my dad told me the night before he retired. It takes a special kind of thick-headed to march into a job where your family's blacklisted. I did it anyway. I'm not gonna let our name go down with Arnold and Quisling. Granddad deserved better than that. He refused to sacrifice his men just to save face for humanity. You planning to throw yourself on a sword to save face for him? Would it make a difference? He's gone now. Dad's gone too. And who would it impress? I'll never be good enough for the Alliance. So, you still interested in me? Baggage and all? Everyone comes with baggage, Ash. The trick is finding a matched set. <laughs> That's awful. Tell me you got that out of a fortune cookie. But hey, once we save the galaxy, maybe the Alliance will get its act together. Start acting like an actual government. The Alliance isn't perfect, but it does well enough. Have to disagree with you there, Skipper. Giving aliens the run of our most advanced ship? Kowtowing to the Council? The Alliance should be able to stand on its own. We can't. Yet. Why not learn from the races who've been standing for the last thousand years? How can you say that, given everything we've seen out here? They're already acting like Saren is our problem. Already sicking us on the bear. The Council races will always think of themselves first. It's... human nature. We can't afford to trust them, not if the survival of humanity is on the line. Ash, you believe in God, an infallible, all-knowing creator with a plan for the universe. You think the diversity of views in the galaxy wasn't part of that? Right? I don't know what God intends, Shepard. I don't think humans have some divine mandate, if that's what you mean. I don't think we're superior. Humans are aggressive. We think fast, we move fast. Wars have started because of our need for constant progress. The Council can balance that. That's... Huh. I guess I never thought of it that way. All big picture, I mean. It doesn't make what happened to Grandad any better, though. What happened to your grandfather shouldn't have happened. Well, at least somebody knows that. And a Star of Terror recipient, no less. Grandad must love that. I have a feeling things will come to a head soon. But don't worry, Shepard. I'll protect you. We'll talk later, Williams. Looking forward to it, Skipper. Okay. Never a dull moment with you, Shepard. You ever go on any missions like ours before? Saving the galaxy from certain destruction? No. But I've had my share of adventures. Do you remember any that stick out? Oh, I remember this one. I remember one time I was hired by a Volus diplomat. What an ass. I guess even politicians have need of mercs from time to time, huh? Time to time? If it wasn't for politicians, I'd be out of work. 
They're always looking for ways to get ahead. This one was no different. He wanted me to erase his past. Get rid of an old friend who knew too much. Huh. His old friend turned out to be an Asari commando. I can see why that might give you pause. What? No. Alina and I were old friends. Sort of. We met when we were both contracted to kill the same Turian. Neither of us wanted the other one to get him first. We spent more time fighting each other than tracking that Turian. An Asari commando mercenary? That's unusual, isn't it? I wouldn't say it's unusual. Mercs come in all shapes. <laughs> anyway, when I told Alina about the diplomat's contract, she and I had a good laugh about it. So what did you do? Well, I wasn't going to lose the contract, but I respected Alina. In the end, I let her pick the location where we'd fight. She chose some old Solarian space station overrun with mercs and smugglers. That way we didn't have to worry about hurting any innocent bystanders. <laughs> she always was a bit of a softy. What happened on the station? What didn't happen? For two days I chased her through that station, used my entire store of ammunition, had to kill a bunch of mercs and use their crap weapons. By the third day, the station was barely holding together. The mercs were dead or gone, life support was failing, but I had her. She'd locked herself in the med labs. She was trying to patch herself up. Damn tough, that one. Then just when I thought I had her, the station's core went critical. Barely made it back to my ship in time. I assume the Asari Commando didn't make it? I watched the station from a distance. I never saw her leave. And when that place blew, there was nothing left larger than a Turian's right nut. <laughs> so I headed back to the diplomat to give him the good news and collect my pay. But before I got halfway there, Alina sent me a message. Better luck next time. <laughs> now, I'm not superstitious. But if someone can survive that, well, they deserve to live. At least, for a bit longer. What about the diplomat? He wanted her dead. I told him the truth. <laughs> Alina was still alive and she was really pissed. I told him if he wanted to live, he'd need me around to protect him. And he believed you. <laughs> he kept me on as his personal guard until he died. Natural causes. Easiest job I've ever had. A little boring, but credits are credits. Hell yeah, that was a good story. Shepard. I love hearing that story. I really do. That, that is such a cool story. There we go. It feels like we're getting near the end, doesn't it, Shepard? With Saren, I mean. It won't be much longer. One way or another, it'll all be over soon. You'll find the conduit before he does. I know you will. You have to. And after this is all over, when my pilgrimage ends, and I go back to my own people, I'll be proud to say I was a part of it. We couldn't have done this without you, Telly. You've been good to me. A lot of people treat Quarians like second-class citizens. They just want us to go back to our fleet and disappear. But you've treated me just like everyone else on your crew. Like an equal. That means a lot, and it says something about you. Whatever happens, I just want to say thank you for that. I'm going to miss you when you go back to your own people, Tally. That won't happen for a while yet. I'll be right here anytime you need me. I should go. Okay. See you later. Now we gotta go upstairs, talk to Liara, and then we'll be ready to move on. 
where we can go to the Citadel so we can talk to Nasana Dantius. And want to go check the stores. Because that's where I found Tally's um, Colossus armor. Beans, I got some good money. I can, um, if we run into another Colossus, we'll buy it. Hopefully, I get the heavy human Colossus. If you are here to talk about Benezia's death, you need not bother. She brought it upon herself. Don't pretend it doesn't bother you. She was your mother. She was. But she was not. I prefer to remember Benezia as she used to be, before she was corrupted by Sovereign's power. The best of your mother lives on in you. Her determination, her intelligence, her strength. <sighs> that is kind of you to say. I appreciate your concern, but I am fine. Benezia chose her path, just as I have chosen mine. I am with you until the end, Shepard. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. Okay. So, I, I'm choosing Ashley as the romantic, because I did Liara in the last series, so... But anyway, like I said, we're gonna go to the Citadel real quick. And see about checking the stores out and talking to Sana Dantius. We'll probably do her first, actually, so I don't forget. Good timing, Commander. We got a transmission coming in from. I forgot about this. Top priority clearance. I'll take it in the comm room. Commander Shepard, we've received information that may be critical to your mission against Saren. I'll take all the help I can get. We've received an urgent message from one of our infiltration regiments in the Traverse. I'm listening. We currently have several infiltration units scattered throughout the border regions of Citadel space. This particular unit was gathering intel on Saren. What did they find? Unfortunately, the message we received was little more than static. The infiltration team must be in a situation where they can't set up proper interstellar communications. But the message was sent on a channel reserved for mission critical communications. Whatever they were trying to tell us, we know it was important. Considering your interest in Saren, we thought you might want to investigate this. Find out what happened to our team. The signal originated from the planet Vermeer. I'll look into it. The Council prefers not to become involved in the specifics of Spectre activities. We only want you to be aware of all your options, including Vermeer. Good luck, Commander Shepard. We will keep you advised if we learn anything else. Okay. So we leveled up. What do I want to do here? Oh, what do I want to do here? Is it assault training I'm after? I think it is. Okay. And I do need to equip on the shotgun that explosive rounds. Okay. Well, back to the Citadel we go so we can see about um, checking the shops and talking to Nasana Dant Dantius. And I need to do one thing real quick, so I'll be second here, everyone.
All right. Sorry about that, everyone. Um, I had to write something down on my calendar. I kept forgetting to do it, and um, just needed to get it written down. Um, some of my meds I ha I get every 90 days, and so to keep track of them of when I need to get them refilled, I just write them on my calendar. Same with doctor's appointments and when I need to get my labs done and that kind of stuff. I don't use digital um, calendars. I only use um, wall calendars and I just write them down on the wall calendars. It's just easier that way. Which I'll need to get one couple months. Log, the commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. Okay. We will check the shop here in CSEC first because it's close, you know? Alliance officials have raided a dangerous cult controlled by a former Alliance officer, Major Kyle. Major Kyle surrendered and is now being treated for severe post-traumatic stress disorder. You know what I miss for calendars, now that I'm thinking about it? I miss the old um, Nintendo Power calendars that they used to have. They were so colorful, and they had all the different video game characters and all that. It, it, it was so cool, the Nintendo characters. Show me what you've got. I'll open the rare stocks for you, Commander. Enjoy. Okay. Nope. Yara gets an upgrade to her biotic amp. We'll take that metagel upgrade. There you go. And then we'll just use the rapid transit because it's just quicker to get around that way. Go to the embassies first. I mean, I know all I had to do was go up the elevator to get to the embassies, but still, I mean, this is a little quicker, I think. And here's Nasana. I know you. You're Commander Shepard, the Human Spectre. Is there something I can do for you? You're Nasana, right? I ran into your sister, Dahlia. It didn't end well for her. What? Are you saying she's... Dahlia's dead, Nasana. And I know she was blackmailing you. Hmm. And I was all set to try to manipulate you into hunting her down for me. But I guess that won't be necessary now, will it? You wanted your sister dead? If people found out my sister was a criminal, I'd be considered a security risk. They'd revoke my clearance, or place me on administrative leave until she was apprehended. I shall transfer a little something into your account as a token of my appreciation. I'm sure you'll find the amount satisfactory. You're a diplomat on her way up the ranks. It could be handy to have a specter who owes you a favor. You make a good point. Anyone can come up with credits. But I can give you authorization to purchase prototype Asari mods. I will get you added to our manufacturer's preferred client list. I think you'd be very interested in what they have available. Goodbye, Shepard. 
It has been a pleasure doing business with you. Okay. So those prototype mods she talks about, we never get to buy any. It's just something they did. Well, now, we're going to go see Dellen real quick. Okay. Commander, it is good to see you again. Would you care to see some of its fantastic items today? Show me your items. Oh, this one is pleased to do so, human. You will not be disappointed. Standard items, that's what we're looking for. Which doesn't look like we're going to get anything. No, it's not. Shit, we get another Metagel upgrade, though. But I do want to check for... Commander. Ammo. Good to see you again. Would you... Under upgrades. Fantastic items today. Show me your items. Oh, this one is pleased to do so, human. You will not be disappointed. Ooh, high explosive. And that combat exoskeleton would probably be nice to have, too. Damn right. Boom. We do need to check um, the med bay too because she sells some things too. Or the clinic, that's what it's called, the clinic. Oh, I forgot about this. I need those supplies for my clinic. I can't. You can and you will, or your story won't stay secret for long. Don't disappoint me, Doctor. Oh, Commander Shepard, I didn't see you come in. Every time I come in here, I see someone threatening you. Who is that? Someone from my past. I can take care of it. I might be able to help you. I was fired by my previous employer for giving out free medical supplies to clinics like this. They never filed any charges, they just wanted me to leave without any fuss. But somebody must have found out. Now they are blackmailing me. I have to give them what they want. If the board finds out about my past, I could lose my license, they'll shut my clinic down. Maybe I can get you out of this. Tell me what they want. I have to give some of my medical supplies to a merchant in the markets. They expect delivery today. Give me your contact's name. I'll deal with this guy, whoever he is. Deal with him? But won't they expose my past? I'll make sure they don't tell anyone. I was told to speak with a merchant named Morlan, down in the markets. I really appreciate this, Commander. Thank you. Don't worry. I'll take care of this. Good luck, Commander. Be careful down there. Okay. We need to go down that way anyway, so... um. We'll just walk it, because it's not that far, so...
anyway. We'll come down here to the markets. I'll check out the two shops and then I'll do the quest. Oh, sure. I can return that for you. Thanks. Welcome back, Earth Clan. Will you be needing supplies for your return to the colonies? Show me what you've got. Most excellent. I am sure you will find something pleasing. Okay. Nothing but a grenade upgrade. Huh. Uh, Commander, I've been waiting for you to get back. I've got an idea and I wanted to run it by you. What's on your mind? With so many human colonies being attacked, I'm not sure that one specter is enough. What if you signed me on as another specter? Conrad, I don't think that's a good idea. But I'd make a great specter. I'd be right there with you, showing the Council what humanity is capable of. I want to be with you, fighting the good fight like you did on Elysium during the Skillian Blitz. I believe you, Conrad. But there's another fight that needs you. What? I, I don't understand. You know what keeps me going out here? Knowing that people back home are keeping humanity strong. You... You're right. I just got so caught up in all of it. I wanted to help. I'll go home. Thanks for setting me straight. All right. So now we come down here, and this is where we do the quest. You talk to Moreland, but we're going to check his shop first. Hello there. Welcome to Moreland's famous shop. You want many good supplies, yes? Let me see what you have. Oh, you will be pleased, I think. Very good things I have. You will see. Nothing. Hello there. Welcome to Moreland's famous shop. You want many good supplies, yes? You were expecting a delivery of medical supplies? But I was told the doctor would be bringing them. Things have changed, Marlin. What? Huh? changed, but the doctor... I don't... This is not right, human. Shut up, Marlin. I told Baines you'd screw this up. What the hell's going on here? Who are you? Leave the doctor alone. We can end this if you just bring me those supplies. Otherwise, I'll start telling people about the doctor's little secret. You're shutting down a medical clinic. What if someone needs treatment? What if you need treatment? Hey, hold on! I'm just the middleman here. This is way more than I bargained for. Thank you, human. It is good to see him humbled so. What do you know about Baines? I have never met him, human. I only worked with the one who spoke with the doctor. Goodbye. Yes, all right then. Good tidings to you, human. Okay, so we're going to head back to the clinic. Commander, how did things go? He won't be bothering you anymore. Really? That's a great relief, Commander. Thank you. I can't pay you for your help, but I can give you a discount on any supplies you purchase here. That's very generous of you. I just wish I knew how this all started, how this thug found out about my past. He spoke of someone named Baines. 
Baines? I wonder if he means Armiston Baines. We worked together a long time ago. What can you tell me about him? Last I heard, the Alliance military was contracting him for some research in the Traverse. Perhaps Captain Anderson will have some knowledge about this man. We'll see what the Captain can tell us. I wish I could tell you more. Is there anything else I can help you with, Commander? Let me take a look at what you have for sale. Okay. Of course. So doing that quest, you get a um, discount. But she doesn't have anything I'm looking for. I'm looking for those medical interfaces. They're not medical interfaces, but medical exoskeletons is what I'm looking for. But she didn't have any, so we're ready to move on. We'll check the traverse to make sure there's no other planets to check out before we go to Pharos, because that'll be our next objective, getting Pharos dealt with. Coming up in a report later today, Emily Wong investigates corruption on the Citadel and uncovers a full-blown crime syndicate. I keep forgetting I need to do squad points for, or talent points for we are in Pally. There's electronics for you. Hacking for you. Okay, so I'm trying to figure out what I want to do next. I'm thinking maybe basic armor for Tally. Max it out so she gets max damage protection. It's the only thing I can think of. Struggling to understand why a computer system catastrophically overloaded recently. Technicians are reportedly unsure of what caused the malfunction, or even what the system was originally designed to do. CSEC is investigating the possible vandalism or misuse of public property. That is so nice you don't have to sit there and wait for the stupid decontamination. It is. It is so nice. So worth putting that mod on. So worth. Logged. The commanding officer is aboard. Exo Presley stands relieved. Okay. Okay. To check out everything, there's an anomaly over here at six theta. And then the Cerberus, we need to do that as well. We'll just do that real quick. Okay, yep. Okay, I'm going to check all these planets, make sure there's nothing to scan or anything. 
Okay. Okay. Before I forget, there is a way to get everybody Colossus armor. There was another DLC for this game. It was called uh, Pinnacle Station. For some reason, it was an Xbox exclusive DLC. It was not. It was never ported over to the other consoles. It wasn't ported to PC, and it wasn't ported to PS3. My guess is because everybody hated it. Because it was nothing but a time trial kind of deal. Okay, so I'm going to save real quick just in case and then I'm gonna restart the um, recording all right I'm back everyone you never know I mean I, I get kind of worried sometimes on these planets that um, my graphics card might crash so at least I don't lose any data and I don't lose any um, recording or anything like that, so. Got it. But we'll scan this. Okay. That wasn't even on the map. What? Oh, it was. I was going to say, that one wasn't even on the map, even with the mod. No, it, it was on the map. Frictionless materials. Nice. High explosive rounds. That'll be for Tally. For a shotgun. And then for Shepard, he gets his um frictionless materials here. There. There we go. Now we're going to start doing the research facilities. It doesn't matter which one you go to first. I'm just going around this way because I can hit everything all in a... All in the path, so... But like I said, it doesn't matter which one you go to first. You just have to hit all three. Okay. The pyramid will be going to here soon. We want to deal with the base first because it has turrets. You want to do the back one first? Well, aim at it anyway. I tried to get both of them, but oh well.
What are we using? We're using our assault rifle. All right. Open this locker up. Never know what you might find. Damn it. There we go. lagging so bad here I gotta be more careful there we go we took out a rack knife Jesus, I don't know why the hell it was lagging so bad. Looks like Cerberus has other bases on this world, Shepard. And this one's a bit disappointing. It doesn't have anything. Son of a bitch. Okay, we'll go for the, we'll mark the mineral, but I'm hitting the pyramid first. Okay, now that we got everything, now we can just go to the research bases. Okay. Yeah. 
You know, the Mako kind of reminds me of um, McLeach's truck from the Rescuers Down Under. There we go. We leveled up because of that, too. I wonder what Cerberus horrors will find at the next base. Okay. Ooh, we get to max out charm. We'll do that. And then... Liara, what was I planning to do with Liara? I don't know. Maybe max out barrier? And then you, I'm having trouble deciding. I'm thinking max out basic armor. For better damage protection. Perimeter secured. Okay. Ooh, a light armor for Liara might be an upgrade. Barely, but we'll take it. There you go. And that's everything it looks like. All right.
Bam, bam. Get your guns out, because you're going to need them. Alright, so here's Admiral Kahoku right here. He was executed by lethal injection, it looks like. Oh, goddess. It's Admiral Kahoku. Cerberus must have tracked him down. Okay, so there's another, um, there's another world we got to go to to finish this quest. Nice, a medical exoskeleton. The R is going to get it. Oh, we got a second one, too. Okay, cool. Everybody has medical exoskeletons. Hades dog. I thought it was in this one. Yeah, it's right here. There it is. I love this mod where it um, has the journal entries or the mission tracker. That's what it is. It's called the mission tracker. They have it in 2 and 3, but they didn't put it in this one, so that's why I put the mod on this one. So I could have it. Okay. Okay. We'll hit this first.
Why? There's no enemies here. There we go. Alright. Okay, so now we're moving on to the next mineral. This so helps having everything on the map, the map tracker. I don't know why they didn't just put everything on the map in this game. I don't know why I had to put a mod on this game to show me where everything is on the map. I mean, I know you're supposed to explore and all that, but fuck that. That, that doesn't add to the gameplay. It's just annoying. You know? If you want me to get everything, show me where it is. Okay. Up uh, this way we go. Okay, here we go. Okay, there we go. Finally got to that one. You know, one thing I was wa I was watching Hell's Kitchen, and I I already watched the first season. I watched the second. Gordon's got Gordon Ramsay's got all the episodes of Hell's Kitchen for free on um, YouTube. The uncensored version, even too. And I mean, I don't mind watching. I love watching the series as it goes through, but what drives me nuts about season two, the ending of season two, where I'm happy that Heather won, it's just, I can't stand it when she just sits there and cries the whole fucking time. And same with Virginia. She cried the whole freaking show, and it's like, shut up. You know? That scram rail is good for Tally's shot. Well, good for our shotgun, too. There we go. It's like you're, you're trying to be a head chef. You're, or an executive chef, whatever the position Gordon's giving away. You don't need to be standing there crying the whole fucking time. Oh my god! Oh my god! You know? Jesus, act mature about it. 
That's another thing that kind of drove me nuts, too. On um, Saturday, I had to go out, and I ended up going out for breakfast at the local diner. And they have really good breakfast at the diner around here. Um, I had a hash brown platter kind of deal where it was hash brown, sausage, ham, gravy, and um, cheese. And it came with toast. But while I was sitting there waiting for it, there was this uh, couple from high school. You know, one was a cheerleader, and I would assume the other was a football player, but... Um, here we go. What I'm looking for... But anyway, this young couple, the guy was really cool. He was, um, he was sitting there being all mature and stuff, but the girl was sitting there, like, playing with the butter packets and the jelly packets, and it's like, really, my, my parents would have slapped me in the face for doing that. And I, I, I just, I don't know how the hell... That guy could just sit there letting his girl do that. I mean, that would just embarrass the shit out of me, you know? And it, it would. It would. But I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get the stuff to make sausage gravy and all that. And I'm going to... Um, And I, I know they sell hash browns at the grocery store that I go to. That's what I think I'm going to make. I'm going to make my own um, hash brown platter. They don't sell breakfast ham for some reason, but oh well. I can make it without. I don't need the ham. You know, and another thing that kind of drives me nuts, too, is I've got a 70-year-old mom who is a know-it-all. She thinks she knows everything, and she just, it just drives me insane that, that she has to come up with an answer for fucking everything, and it's like, really? Because I, I was saying, oh, I, I'll make, I can make gravy at home, it just thickens out on me, and I mean... She sits there and says, oh, well, uh, you, you're just not making it right because it thickens too much on you. And I'm like, okay, and you can do better? Yeah, I make homemade gravy. I used to make homemade gravy. And this is coming from a person who doesn't even know how to preheat an oven when baking stuff. Ooh, a kinetic exoskeleton. That'll go for um, Tally. Yeah, my mom, when she bakes stuff in the oven, she will not preheat the oven. She just turns the oven on and just throws something in. And it's like, no, you have to preheat the oven, idiot. It's why I don't let her make anything. I refuse to let her make anything for me because she's an idiot. You know? When it comes to holiday cooking, I refuse to even let her in my kitchen. I, I, no, she does not need to be in my kitchen. Because if she ain't going to do it right, she don't need to be doing it at all. Because she'll kill somebody. 
not preheating the oven. I mean, shit doesn't cook right. It's either overcooked on the outside and underdone on the inside, all because she won't preheat the oven. You know, I'm also talking about a person who thinks she doesn't need to drive speed limit either. She drives 40 miles an hour in a 55 mile an hour speed limit. And so, so many people get so mad at her. She causes so much road rage and it's just, no, you don't need a fucking license, you know? I mean, I'm, I'm getting to the point where I'm getting ready to prove to the court that she's just she's just not well enough to have a driver's license. I'm going to see about getting me a video camera and recording her driving just to show the court that hey, you need to take away her driver's license. Because if she's not going to drive speed limit, she has no business being on the road. She can barely walk as it is. She can't breathe very well. She takes three or four steps and she has to stop and breathe. And that drives me nuts when we go to stores or restaurants. She stops right in the middle of the doorway. So people can't get in and out because of her. And it's like, uh, no, you need to keep walking and get away from the door so people can get in and out. It is also a fire hazard if you do that. And I'm getting to the point where I have to whack her in the back of the head just to make my point across, get my point across, because she's not listening. You know? I mean, it just, you can't let somebody who has all these health problems and who's this old do stupid stuff like that. You know? If it were up to me, she wouldn't leave the house unless she absolutely had to. You know, because, again, like I said, if she's not going to think about others while out in public, then she's just a nuisance and she needs to be at home. You know? I mean, I understand it's part of getting old, but at the same frickin' time, you can't be inhibiting younger people. And that's what a lot of older people don't seem to understand. And my mom, she's 70 years old. You know, I'm not talking, you know, the 40, 50 year olds. I'm talking the 70, 80 year olds. Transmission coming in, Commander. I think you're gonna wanna hear this one. Greetings, Commander Shepard. I represent a party interested in obtaining information on Cerberus activities. Who are you and who do you represent? Who I am is inconsequential. Suffice to say, I am an agent for the Shadow Broker. You see, Admiral Kahoku contacted my employer looking for information on the location of any Cerberus facilities. We provided that information on the promise that he would turn over copies of all files gathered from the Cerberus systems to us. These are classified Alliance files. I'm not handing them over to you. Be reasonable, Commander. Cerberus was operating outside Alliance jurisdiction. You don't owe them any loyalty. The Alliance is just going to file this information away in some archive. But no secret stays hidden forever. Eventually, someone somewhere will deliver it into our hands. Might as well be you. Transmit the files to us and you will be well compensated. My loyalty is to the Alliance, not the Shadow Broker. That is unfortunate, Commander. My employer will remember this the next time you need something from us. Well, the thing is, we don't do business with the Shadow Broker, so... Really, it doesn't matter. But anyway, society has the problem of letting old... giving old people a pass because they're old. And we need to stop that. We need to hold old people accountable for their actions as well. 
you know? Being old does not give you the right to treat people like crap, be grouchy all the time, and tell people how things should be. I mean, no, you're you're in the way, your time has passed, you need to step aside and let the next generation take the helm, you know? That's the problem with the U.S. government. They're all fucking old people, and they refuse to let go of power because they enjoy the power so much. When what they need to do is they need to back off and let the, my generation take the helm. Oh shit. I know this one. This is where we kill all the, um, Rachni. I do and don't like this quest. I do because you get a. You get some, some pretty good experience for it. But I don't because you have to go through like two or three rounds of Rachni and you don't get any experience for killing any of them. Which is bullshit, you know? But no, the thing about my mom driving slow is I have seen cops pull up behind her and scan her license plates, and because it, they come back to a 70-year-old lady, they give her a break. And it, it's just wrong. I didn't know the law was age-based. So when I turn 70, I can break all the laws I want because I'm old? You know? Snowblind rounds? What do they do? Okay. We'll try them out. But it's just ridiculous that these cops think it, it's okay to let old people get away with breaking the law and that kind of shit. And, you know, you go to the DMV and you see the people working behind the counter giving old people a break, helping them beat the fucking eye test. You know, I'm fucking sorry, but the cops need to start supervising what is going on at the DMV. Because I, I guarantee you, they started supervising, they'd see a ton of fucking crimes being committed by the people working at the DMV. My mom constantly tells me that she can't read road signs and stuff like that. And it's like, well, how do you even have a lot? How do you pass in the eye test? You know? It's because they're giving her the answer of the eye test is what it is.
And with my mom's medical problems, too, I mean, that's another reason why she shouldn't have a license. You know, because she's got an AFib, which is an irregular heartbeat. So I'm worried her heart's just going to give out one day. She's a type 2 diabetic like me. And I have found out she has driven severely low, her blood sugar severely low before. Which she's going to kill somebody doing that. I mean, I'm sorry. The f fucking judges and shit can say all, all they want. Oh, well, it's just low blood sugar. It's just low. Okay, fine. Why don't we just ignore people who drink and drive while we're at it? Idiots. Right. And I marked the Rakdai Hive, but we're not going there yet. We need to go here first. <laughs> oh, this one's not the one I was thinking of. Um I thought this was the listening post we were going to. There. We have to come here first to learn about where the uh, team is. That's right. That's right. I forgot about that. It's this one doesn't look like I'm going to get, so... Oh, I did get it. Cool. And I got that one too. Nice. Here we go. Yeah, I don't know if I like those. Okay. A Gemini amp.
There we go. We got all the lockers open. Combat exoskeleton. We could use that. Mayday. 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 This is Lieutenant Marie Durand, 314th Infantry, Alliance 10th Frontier Division. The listening post has been overrun by unidentified hostile life forms. Request immediate extraction. According to this, they received a supply ship just two days ago. The Rachni must have attacked since then. Tell me about that supply ship. This planet is supposed to be uninhabited. The Rachni didn't come from nowhere. One moment. These things are drones, dispatched at irregular intervals from different depots to reduce the likelihood of tracking. I have it. This one came from Argos Row. Wherever it is, there's probably more Rachni there. Let's get to the bottom of this. Very well, Shepard. Okay, so now we need to go to Argos Row to deal with this quest. Oh no, we need to go to the hive first. And then we'll get out of here. I forgot about the hive. We went up a level, that's nice. Okay, well, we got everything. Okay, that's good. Now we can get out of here. Back to Argos Row we go. Oh, we don't get to go to Argos Royale. We have to go to the listening post first. Okay. Thank you. 
Hey, oh, we got a bunch of shit here. Two hives and a listening post, huh? All right. We'd want to go that way and then we. Okay. Jeez, this place is rich with stuff. We're missing one. There he is. Okay. I didn't know that was here. That's the joy of having everything on the map. That mod that puts everything on the map. You know. It shows you right where everything is. So you get more experience. Because you do everything. Leave it to the players to fix the flaws that the developers overlook, you know? Okay, that's the way we'll go. Then we go up this way to get this anomaly. Okay, is there anything down here? No. Is there anything in the buildings? Another combat exoskeleton, that's nice. You wait till we start getting better armor for you, Shepard. Did I go in that one? I did, okay. There we go. Sometimes I get caught up on stuff. There we go.
Okay, there we go. You don't really need to collect all the, like, medallions and stuff like that. You do it because it's experience and money, you know, and credits. You know what I mean? That's the biggest reason you do it. It's for the credits and the experience. I hate this mission, I really do, because, um, like I said, you end up going through like two or three rounds of Rachni, and you don't get any experience for it. And it's like, really? You're sitting here taking on enemies, but yet they're not tagged as real enemies, so you don't get experience for them. we go. <laughs> Shoo! God, I've been feeling that sneeze for a while. Finally, it came out. No. There it is. I'm like, it better not be on top. It's not. Now we can go to the listen post. What you're supposed to do is you're supposed to bring the Mako in and you're supposed to like hook it up to some turret. Fuck that, you know, that's, that's work.
First Lieutenant Duran, sir. 3rd Brigade, 14th Infantry Regiment, and I am damn glad to see you. We heard you needed some backup. Actually, we need to get the hell out of here. But I guess your ship couldn't carry us all. They dropped us here a few months back. We get supplies every couple weeks. We didn't see anything local that was more dangerous than Lycan. Yesterday, these animals started coming out of the ground. No idea where they're from. This is what's left out of 90 men. I'm the ranking officer. They're called Rachni. You get a supply ship in recently? Yeah, but that was an Alliance ship, Commander. I mean, it was a drone, running on automatics. But what... This isn't the first time we've seen this. Will your unit be all right here? What we just fought was a probe. Our seismic sensors are picking up a crap load more on their way up from underground. We've got five minutes, tops. We might be able to hold them off if we were at peak, but you can see the fighting's busted this place up. Do what you can to secure your position. We'll see if we can get some of your defenses operational. Aye aye, Commander. You heard the man. Everybody pool magazines and grenades. Take a leak and a drink while you can. And if anyone wants a smoke, it's as good a time as any. Okay. So I'm just gonna hang out in the Mako and just take them out in the Mako. This is what drives me nuts of this quest. You don't get experience for killing these Rachni. These make it worth something, you know? Shit. That's round two.
Jesus, this just takes forever. I can't stand this fucking quest. I can't fucking stand it. I wish there was a mod to make this only one freaking wave instead of, you know, three. Holy hell, sir. Talk about a near-run thing. You all right? Never mind me. Are you all right? Still on my feet. But we've been fighting for almost 26 hours straight. None of us will be standing for long. Ma'am, we're getting a signal from one of the ground scan UAVs. A big hollow space about 500 meters under the surface. Right. That must be it. That must be where they're coming from. My people aren't in any condition for a clearing operation, though. Just point us in the right direction. You don't have to do that, Commander. We've bled them. We can probably hold until a bigger ship arrives to get us off-world. If you want to take a throw at it, we'll give you the coordinates. But it's your call. You saved our asses, Commander. Thanks. Okay, so we're gonna check the buildings. And then we'll head over to the... mine. Okay. Now with the medical exoskeletons, they uh, resist uh, toxic. Okay. We'll need our weapons, I know that. Okay. Okay, we're looking for items too while we're down here. Nice job, Tally. Blow her head off like that. And there we leveled up. Nice. So we can max out assault training for Shepard. Max out basic armor for Tally. What do we want to do next for her?
Damping? Yeah. That, that'll be next. Damping will be next. Because what damping does, it increases the explosion radius of your tech proximity mines. Will you say that, but once we get down here, it won't be. Oh, you put me in stasis, bastard. Okay, so all the Rachni is dead. Sweet. Clear. Okay. Now we're gonna head back to Normandy and we're gonna go to Argus Row to finish this quest off and then I'm gonna have to call it for this video. I know this video probably isn't as long as the other ones, but I'm needing something to eat, so but I can finish this quest off and then we'll go from there. Nothing to scan, all right. So we just go to the depot. I'm gonna switch to the shotgun. Have some fun with it. Thank you. 
There we go. Another Polaris amp. Let me check that on Liara. Nope. God, I hate this fucking quest. It's because of the fucking map. It's because of the fucking maze of boxes and shit. You know? Where the fuck did these guys come up with this idea? I mean... Jesus Christ. You shouldn't have to... Try looking around to try to figure out where you're going or any of that other bullshit. Because I don't know where I'm going. And I, I hate this. I hate it so fucking much. And I, I would just take out this quest. It's unnecessary. It's... We might put that onyx on, actually. Just so we can get a combat exoskeleton on Shepard. Do you want to go around to these other rooms first? Before you do the objective? Personal data recorder for Major Elena Flores. Play the first entry. Sigma 23 is almost fully operational. The barracks and storage lockers are complete and we've begun stocking the munitions. It's highly unlikely the Alliance will patrol in the nebula. I expect our only risk will be from pirates, and who will believe them? Looks like we'll have space for two reinforced platoons of Cerberus commandos. Cerberus may be a bigger threat than we had assumed. Play the second entry. The package arrived today for field testing. I'm told they're fundamentally similar to the units being developed on Novaria. They promise this batch will be stable. Something about them developing in proximity to the Master Control Unit. We detected some pirates setting up an anchorage in a neighboring system. I think we'll try deploying them there first. Play the last entry. They've escaped containment. Clever bastards. We treated them like animals. We should have treated them like POWs. They're spreading. Boarding the supply ships and sending them to random destinations. They'll be all over the cluster in a week. General, if you recover this message, my advice is... Screw the Rachni. They're too smart. Use one of the other projects. Flores, signing off. For the final time. A Rachni experiment gone awry. Again. Let's go. Okay, so now we want to set off the bomb. Now we got a minute and ten seconds to get out. And this is what I hated this fucking quest. Ignore the enemies. Do not even fight them, because... 
You just don't have time to fight them. But we got out no problem. There we go. Okay. So this is what I'm going to call it for this video. Um, I forgot to take a selfie, didn't I? That's okay. I'll take one real quick and then I'll call it for the video. You know what? I'm going to stand by Joker. I, I don't know why. I'm just going to do it. Take a selfie with Joker. <laughs> oh, it won't let me take a selfie with him. That sucks. That sucks. Can I get one with Presley? Let's find out. Yep, I sure can. <laughs> there we go. Selfie! Okay, well, I'm going to call it for this video. We already saved. I mean, we didn't really do anything, so we're not going to lose anything. So anyway, hope y'all had fun, and I will see y'all in the next episode.